Thing. Order! Oh, order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Eleven people from the same family have been convicted in a trial over modern-day slavery in Lincolnshire. It follows one of the biggest police investigations of its kind. Members of the Rooney family targeted vulnerable homeless people, keeping them in squalid conditions in caravans with no running water or toilets, and using threats and violence, including punishment beatings, to keep them in line. Victims were forced to work in the family's construction business for little or no wages. Well, our North of England correspondent Judith Moritz is at Nottingham Crown Court for us now. Judith. Yes, the Roonies were flashy with their money. They went on holiday to Barbados. They had cosmetic surgery. They shelled out thousands of pounds. But by terrible contrast, by very stark contrast, the people they controlled were kept in poverty. For many, many years, forced to live in squalid conditions, the police tell us tonight that one of their victims was held captive for, they believe, around a quarter of a century. His family had given him up for dead. Fathers, sons, cousins, across the generations, 11 members of one family whose cruelty has spanned the decades. The Roonies were the masters. This is where they kept their slaves. They were forced to live in these caravans in squalor and in filth, conditions not fit for human habitation, whilst those who controlled them lived in comfort and luxury. The Roonies had many victims, including this man, whose interview has been revoiced to protect his identity. I've been on and off the streets for years, drugs and alcohol. I haven't seemed to be able to get settled. See, they've scarred me. Sometimes I have flashbacks and, you know what I mean, nightmares, and that I'm always wary about them. Patrick Rooney was one of those posing as a respectable businessman, laying driveways. But in reality, the family used slave labour, forcing vulnerable men to labour for little or no reward. One customer, who's asked not to be identified, remembers how the workmen appeared. They weren't treated as uh, civilised at all. They were, they were treated as if they were subhumans. I was, I was truly astonished. There was no machine to strip the, the old tarmac off, nothing. These guys, these guys did it all by hand, and it was extremely hard work for them. I'll give, you, I'll give them that. They, they didn't stop. They didn't have any breaks, anything. All, all, all they got was that we made them uh, a few cups of tea, a few chocolate biscuits. They were delighted to get a cup of tea because I knew and they knew that they weren't going to get anything else. Not for the day. In contrast, the family lived lavishly, this expensive funeral for one relative showing their wealth. In the local Lincolnshire community, it didn't go unnoticed. The people they were preying on were the most vulnerable. They made a lot of money out of them. I'm the stories I was hearing about big washes of cash. Bringing the 11 family members to book has taken several years. The police needed to win the trust of victims who were very vulnerable. They were dirty, they were thin, the clothes they were wearing were terrible. And when we took them to the reception centre, one individual actually used an entire bottle of shampoo to try and make himself feel clean. To, to how they are now, where they're in employment, uh, going to college, they're reunited with their families. You know, it's absolutely heartwarming and amazing to see the transformation and it makes it all worthwhile. They preyed on the homeless and the desperate, offering them shelter and work. But there was no dignity in this, only lives exploited and destroyed. Judith Moritz, BBC News, Nottingham.